Hey guys, Troy Legacy RV Center. Today we got a treat for you, but before we get into it, do me a favor, jump on, like us, subscribe to us, and I think you'll like our channel. So today we're gonna talk about the 2022 Riverstone. It's the 39 RKFB, and it is their number one selling floor plan. We literally had to pull a couple teeth to get this one in stock, but I'll tell you what, it was definitely worth the wait. There are so many things on this trailer that I feel like I could sit here and do about a 14 hour video on it. But let's, so let's jump right on in and let's uh, check this thing out. So come, come this way. A couple things I wanna know, uh, point out to you first is uh, just the way the overall fit and finish, the way this thing looks. So I love the way that they've done their cap. So you've got the really cool lights on the cap, kind of make, make it pop. This has actually got full body paint. This is the actual leg legacy version of it. I like the legacies because legacies have just a little bit of everything. So anyway, first I want you to notice we got an awning right here and then we've got one over the slide out. So kind of a cool thing about that is you can have both of them out and have double, double shade everywhere. But here's the other thing. So a lot of places we camp actually don't have uh, an area where we can pull our slide out or our awning out. So it's kind of nice to have a couple little options there as far as if we got trees in the background here, we can use this lot or this awning or vice versa. So that's kind of a cool thing for me, I think. Uh, so moving over here, got the bigger propane tanks. This is built for a full timer. This is uh, built to take out, use, live in so they felt it was pretty important to put the bigger propane tanks on and that's something we hear quite a bit people always and some of our other brands is god that's all uh they only do this size of a propane tank so these guys could took care of that hassle right off the get-go for you so bring coming in here you've got tons and tons and tons of storage in here so you got a couple lights in here so they put the diamond plate in the in the storage compartment here. So if you get some rough stuff in here, it's not going to bang everything up. Make all of your uh, uh, storage accessible in here. Or if you ever have a problem, you can just slide this open, slide this closed. Uh, one thing this does have is a manifold. And a manifold is a big deal to me. So for you guys that don't understand the difference between a manifold and, and just a regular plumbing system in an RV. So let's say you guys are out you're using the trailer and all of a sudden you spring leak somewhere. Well, in most trailers, you're gonna to have to just turn your uh, plumbing off until you get it fixed, right? But with the manifold system, so basically you can, you can turn off what area where you've got the problem and still be able to use the rest of the trailer. Another advantage too is if, if the wife's doing dishes and you're taking a shower, so it's not gonna affect the hot, cold, or the water temperature. It's gonna shoot it right into the, uh, right into the shower, right into the sink. So it's gonna maintain the same, temp or same temperature and also the same pressure. So that's a cool feature on the Legacy that they have. I'm sitting here looking too. So this comes with an 18 watt inverter already built in. And so uh, kind of the advantage of that is first off on your solar, uh, it's gonna help you with your uh, solar as well as your fridge. And if you guys are out in the middle of nowhere, don't have access to power, you're still gonna be able to use a lot of your stuff in the trailer if you're out boondocking. So that's a cool feature, feature that it has. Um, another thing, Look how thick this compartment door is. A lot of these manufacturers, to cut a little bit of cost, will put a thinner compartment door on here. So you're not gonna get quite the insulation value, but that's actually a full two inch uh, compartment door. And you've got slam latch handles. The other thing to these latches are they're metal, so they're not some really cheap ha uh, handle that'll easily break. So coming back here, you've got the nicer steps here thing I like about this is it's super easy to adjust these up and down. When they first came out with these type of steps, you had to actually pull a little pin out, adjust them, and then kind of try and fish that pin back in. But this just makes it super, super easy just to adjust them to whatever height you want. So that's a nice little feature. And I didn't put that down all the way, but see how cool that was? Coming along over here. Yep. I know I talked about the paint a little bit, but these guys put a ton into their paint job. So 
So this, this has got uh, the full body paint. It's also got four coats of clear coat on there. So this thing should look as good in 10 years as it looks today. Uh, their paint jobs, they literally spend a ton, a ton of money on these and really do it right. So when they're doing these paint jobs, so they'll pull, paint one solid color first, wait for it to completely dry. Then they'll mask off the area for like the pa uh, for the graphics on here and then they'll paint those separately. So anyway, just a really, really high end paint job. Coming over here, outside speakers. Plus you've got the 40 inch uh, TV out here. It also has Bluetooth and USB char uh, so USB charging. So if you want to plug something in, you could actually, believe it or not, ch charge it off of your uh, TV. So moving back here, you got the seamless frameless windows. So nice thing about these is they give it a really high end look, but seamless frameless windows, you really don't have to do any maintenance on them as well. So coming back here, you got a full ladder back here, full walk on roof. This, this one actually has the three ACs uh, with heat pumps. Uh, you've got uh, the rear hitch already on there. So if you guys wanted to uh, put something behind it, it's already got the, the hitch on there for you. Full cap on the back, which kind of gives it a nice finished off look, gives it a really high end look as well. So moving along here. So this particular unit is a rear kitchen. And so they actually put a place where you can put your garbage can, which is actually right there, but a little extra storage here and they make it uh, accessible on um, like your low point drain and to your sink right there too as well. Moving over here, you've got the power reel on here. So it makes it, these are some pretty heavy cords. So it's nice to be able to just push a button, pull it out. Matter of fact, Zach, my cameraman here, uh, it saved us a, a ton of uh, time and uh, and strength by actually just pushing the button to get it out. So another nice feature. Here's where the garbage can goes. So when we go inside, I'll show you. It's got a place where you could just put all the trash down and rather than having to carry it throughout the trailer, you can just come outside, pull your garbage can out and go uh, empty your garbage can. So uh, moving along here. This has got the uh, AquaGo hot water heater. So the nice thing about that, there's no tank, it's a tankless hot water heater. So you should be able to just always have hot water whenever you want. They actually call it on demand. And the reason they call it on demand is cause it's on demand. So that is a super nice hot water heater, six point leveling system uh, on this trailer as well, which with self leveling. So bring, coming over here a little more, uh, a little bit more of a view of the storage and the manifold system. They individually label everything too, so you know which ones to turn off uh, when you have a problem. The other cool thing is on your hydraulics, they actually put this down in an easy uh, spot, so if you wanna check your hydraulic fluid, uh, it's super, super easy to get to. So, moving over here, boom. All your tanks are in the heated and closed underbelly, okay? Uh, so, uh, which they actually label them too, which some of these manufacturers don't. You've also got, uh, you've got your water purifier right here. Everything is super easy to actually winterize, unwinterize. Got your battery cutoff switch right here as well. Black tape flush and your fresh tank here. All your hookups for your cable. Just bring it around right here. Bring all your cords down in there so you don't have a whole bunch of whole bunch of cords hanging all over your trailer. So anyway, shut that up over here. So this is where your batteries go. Uh, they make it to where you can actually just slide the trays out rather than try and lift them out to get them out to uh, replace them or do any maintenance. This is a big deal too. So they actually give you a uh, touch of paint for the outside of the exterior of the trailer. So moving along here, <clears throat> this is where if you guys decide that you want to do a generator, you can install a generator right here. 
So not everybody wants generators, so we don't order them with generators, but it is gen prep. So if you actually ended up wanting this unit, it'd be super easy to add. Moving up here, I want to talk about the Air Ride Trail Ride uh, pin box. This actually has a little airbag in here, so you can adjust the PSI in here just so that you got a nice smooth ride. So anyway, bet you're excited to see the inside. Let's go take a look. Come on in guys. I think you're gonna be surprised. I'm gonna try and not bore you to death with a whole bunch of stuff that, that is uninteresting. I'm just kind of gonna get to the meat and potatoes of this and show you how cool it is. So first off, I wanna talk about right here. So in today's world, a lot of people work from their trailers on site and uh, full timers. So uh, a lot of people would rather have a computer desk here so they can work on the computer. Uh, in the off chance that, I uh, shouldn't say off chance, but uh, they do have the other option available if you want to put another sofa here, you can as well. Moving back here, so the other thing on the uh, table, so they've tried to make every uh, the table kind of not be in the way. Uh, in the old days, they used to have this great big old table right here that uh, kind of uh, got in your way. So they've kind of simplified this. So put your two uh, chairs right here, because a lot of times it's probably just going to be you and the wife having a little bit of dinner right here. Uh, if you do have people come over, so there is another leaf, and then you can get the extra two chairs to come here as well. It'll come out just about to right here. Moving over here. So attention to detail is a big, big deal, and these blinds are super cool. So this has both the day-night blinds. How many videos do you watch where people are sitting there fumbling with the blinds to try and get the blinds to work? So I want to show you how nice that is. Goes up nice and easy like that. So that's the day part, or excuse me, the night part. Here's the day part. So go up nice and smooth and easy. Not a whole lot of work there. So the other thing I want to talk about is your cabinet space here. So, so the way that they've done this is actually pretty slick. So this is actually nice pine wood right here. You got some nice drawers right here. Uh, if you wanted to put canned goods or whatever right down here, you totally can. And you can pull them out uh, if you look so they go back in by themselves. So you don't have to sit there and fight, fight your way back into it. Then up here, so they separated these two on purpose. So this is gonna be the easy to get to stuff, the stuff on a daily basis, where up here you're gonna put, uh, you know, stuff that you're not necessarily gonna get to every day, but you definitely want the storage for. And I wanna show you how deep this is. You can actually fit some pretty good stuff in here. Super nice. So uh, you can leave this closed uh, all the time and just get to this stuff, close this, okay? So move over to the fridge. This has got a gigantic fridge, the twin cooling Samsung. So it's a smart fridge, super, super efficient, triply insulated. So uh, people always say, well, gosh, I don't want that kind of a fridge because I'm gonna end up uh, out dry camping. And so this was actually built and designed for an RV for people that are actually gonna live in it. Uh, like I'd mentioned, so this has uh, an 1800 watt uh, in, uh, inverter and it does uh, come standard with solar panels as well to help you out with this. So anyway, so tons of room here. You open this up, here's your freezer. You can put all your uh, frozen meats there and then like your vegetable, frozen vegetables and fruits and stuff you can put in these separate trays. And you can actually pull this out if you want. So anyway, super nice there, super high quality. One thing that I like is these guys don't have all these flashy lights uh, everywhere. So this is blue, that's yellow, this is green. They try to give it a really super, super classy look because it is a high-end coach and not everybody wants all those flashy lights. So, so they've kept everything toned down really nice and they've really done a good job making it super classy. And just looking at this countertop helps actually appreciate how, what their commitment is to actually keeping it super classy. Moving over here, you've got tons of drawers right here. More storage, 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 storage. Got a nice, great big microwave oven here. Moving down here, you've got a gigantic oven. Look how big that thing is. I like these little lights, how they've just kind of finished that off as well. You've also got dishwasher right here. Got a nice big sink so you can put some really good dishes in here. And uh, 
actually the husband can do the dishes uh, while the wife's uh, kicking back. When I mentioned outside the, uh, where you can put your garbage, just right there. I wanna bring your attention to one thing up to the ceiling. So I love this, the way that they've done this uh, ceiling. It just gives it a really, really high-end look, super classy. So let's go take a look at the family room. Uh, so right here, you've got two recliners here. You've actually got the uh, uh, couch right here that actually makes out into a bed as well. So these are recliners. I want you to see how smooth and nice that opens up. So a lot of these are a little bit rough rolling when they're coming out and coming in and you're not sure if they're actually gonna make it out. And if they get out, you're not sure if they're gonna actually move it back, make it back in. So just a really nice high-end furniture that they've used. This makes out into a really nice bed right here. So it's not your typical bed that uh, is just the, where you just pull it up and pull it out and then you've got a pretty uncomfortable bed. This actually makes out into a nice comfortable bed. Moving around here. So this has got the Ultimate Electronics package, all JBL uh, sound system in here that actually sounds super nice. You've got the surround sound. So you can sit here and watch TV and watch that uh, theater style movie and feel like you're in the movie theater just a little bit nicer. So uh, then you've got your fireplace here, which you can set to different mood lighting and different temperatures. I love this ceiling right here, light. So, so they call it the eternity light. And if you look up into it, it looks like you're just moving into the heavens. So, or it goes on to eternity. Nice fan right here to help with the different, uh, help keep your temperature uh, the way you want it right here. So I haven't even shown you guys the coolest part of the trailer yet. So let's go look at the hat bath at the bedroom. And this thing has got a front bedroom or a front bathroom that'll just knock your socks off. And that uh, bathroom up there is one of the reasons that this is our number one seller. Let's go take a look here. Let's go to the half bath. One thing I want to point out is access to the door to the bathroom, which is a big deal. So if you have somebody that's out here messing around and just need to get to the bathroom without disturbing the rest of the people inside, it's just a uh, quick in, quick out. So they've actually put the washer and dryer right here as well. So super easy to, uh change everything out and right here you actually have a laundry chute coming from the main bedroom into here so you could just pull that out and do all your laundry i like this little accent lighting behind the mirror kind of gives it a super high-end classy look so anyway so you can be in here shaving oh i don't shave so i could be in here cutting my hair hmm hmm uh, nose hairs. Also, thinking about little attention to detail, so this is a, a big deal to me too. It's a Max Air uh, fan up here, so they have actually have it on a remote. So right there, when people come in here, uh, do their business, you can clear it out super quick. All right, let's look at the command center right here. So everything's digital. So this actually is the Firefly system. And the thing I like over the LCI is it's a little more user friendly. You can turn all the lights on, off, uh, get to all of uh, your heating and air, your plumbing, everything right here, super easy. Uh, right here is where you have access, or you can turn your inverter on, and like I say, it is already set up with solar. So come on up here. So right here, you've got a nice king size bed. And they've actually used a really nice mattress on here. That, that's a big point, uh, complaint of a lot of RVers. They use a really cheap mattress. They're trying to uh, pack and play this too, to where you don't need to do a bunch of upgrades afterwards. So this, that's why they made this thing super comfortable. So uh, moving around here, got your two windows right here and you can actually cross ventilate right here. So nice little headboard, got your uh, USB port right here. So if you guys need to charge anything or, uh, or uh, watch your electronics, you can totally access this. You've got one on both sides. So they've thought about both him and her. So if you guys have a um, CPAP, you can plug it right into here. So 
Moving over here, you also got another TV right here. Tons of drawers all through right here. So now I want to show you what I was telling you about my favorite part of this whole trailer. Come on into the bathroom. So they've done this thing completely right. So you've got two sinks right here. Got the backlit mirror right here, which is super cool. Uh, look at that toilet or the shower right here, even complete with a bench coming down. This looks like more like you're in the spa rather than out full time in, in your RV. So another, also you've got another uh, uh, max air vent right here, or fan I mean. Come in here, nice walk-in closet. Look how big this thing is. Hang your jackets, hang all your clothes right here. You've got the Dyson vacuum right here. And you can put stuff right here as well, or hang more stuff. So you can hang the wife stuff, the wife stuff, the wife stuff, the wife stuff. And then you can hang uh, the guy's uh, clothes right here. So anyway, guys, this trailer is completely dialed in. Let us know what you think of it. Let me know how, what you thought of our video. But please subscribe and like. If you have any questions on it, feel free to leave us comments. And thank you so much for watching our video. I'm Troy at Legacy RV Center, 3711 South State, Salt Lake City. Thank you so much.